Katie Chats here in downtown Toronto at the Breastfest Film Festival with artistic director Michelle Rothstein. How did you get involved in this great festival? Well, that's a very good question, actually. Um, a number of years ago, Alison Gordon, who is our VP at Rethink Breast Cancer, she had this excellent idea to get doing something, which is funny, your YouTube. Mm -hmm. She saw that YouTube was exploding, and she thought, oh, you know what, we should do something with that, and so created a, a, a film competition, a short film competition. And then, you know, at Rethink, they realized, you know what, we get a lot of films as well, and maybe we should have a film festival. So she started a film festival. And she and I knew each other from beforehand. I had worked in film festivals before. And she invited me to be, sit on the advisory to help out in building the festival. And I was the very first advisory member. And then it slowly grew. And then eventually I started working for Rethink Breast Cancer and Breastfest. And what first made you so passionate about breast cancer? Well, I, I, when I worked in film festivals, um, I had a mentor and very close friend named Deborah Plotkin, and she was the artistic director of the Jewish Film Festival. And when I was very young, I worked with her, and she and I stayed very, very close. And then, unfortunately, she passed away from breast cancer in her early 40s. And it was very, very different for her, her experience as a young woman with breast cancer. And then I knew Allison, and I knew of the organization Rethink Breast Cancer and the amazing work that they do with younger women with breast cancer. And it just, it was kind of one of those things where I thought, what do I do? I want to do something about breast cancer. I want to get involved in one way. And then when there was the intersection of film and breast cancer, I thought, OK, this is perfect. This is exactly where I'm supposed to be. Do you find it challenging to educate young women on breast cancer? Oh, that's a very good question. Well, on, on the larger level, that would be like our support and, and programs department who does a lot of that straight on education and creating awareness. But as an organization, I guess we all do it in some way or another. And BreastFest is one way that we do it. And I think, I don't want to say it's an easy way because sometimes the films can be quite challenging. But because we are such a visual culture and image-based culture, putting things up on screen for people to absorb and to absorb subject matter that they may not be as open to or familiar with, I think is more digestible. So I think some areas of our organization is probably more challenging, but in my area, it's, it's you know, it's a festival. So it gets to be, you know, like I said, uh, challenging, but people absorb it easier because film just creates such a wider audience. And you also have comedians and speakers. Can you tell me a little bit about the exciting live events that you have going on? Sure. Um, well, Saturday night, November the 3rd at 8 p.m. at the Bloor Hot Dog Cinema, we have Tits and Sass, which is an evening of comedy benefiting Rethink Breast Cancer. And it's our fundraiser. And uh, the money goes right back into our support and education programs at Rethink Breast Cancer. And it's an amazing show. Last year was our first time we did it, and it was hilarious. We just felt like we needed to break up the weekend of you know heavy films. Not that they're all heavy, but you know the subject matter can be sometimes. And so you know there's laughter, there's fun, there's Scott Thompson. It's hosted by Elvira Kurt, Sandra Seamus, Don Whitwell. I mean, we just it's so exciting, and it's always a lot of fun, and it gets quite outrageous, or it did last yeah. year, and so we're hoping it stays quite outrageous, because that was lots of fun. And then we have our speaker series that take with us some of the films that we go a little one step further with the films where we find a topic in the film that maybe needs to be, you know, talked a little bit about, you know, um, excuse me, more extensively. And so by adding the speaker series, that brings just yet another dimension and creates even a larger dialogue. And then people in our audience can get involved, and they have a voice too. So it's not just passively sitting and watching a film. They can afterwards then engage with us, with the community, and, and I guess explore some of the issues surrounding you know, younger people with breast cancer. And where do you hope the film festival will go in years to come? Ah, uh, in years to come, I always say breast fest throughout the world, <laughs> world domination. I'd like to see it in every country. I think it's great. I think, I think using film as a way to educate and bring people together and engage in dialogue is amazing. I think we've now been doing, you know, engaged in film as a society for, you know, a century now. And I think it shows that it really is an interesting way of drawing people together. And I think you know, other cultures, other countries, everyone could benefit from it because it really is an easy way to digest material. And I think some other countries don't want to talk about it. Even, even in Canada, some people don't want to talk about the realities of young women with breast cancer. So it, it really is a great way of bringing new voices into the cause. 
And where is the best place to find out more information on Breast Fest online? Ah, okay. So it's uh, breastfestfilmfest.com or rethinkbreastcancer.com. And we have a couple of Twitter accounts. We have at Rethink Tweet and we have at Breast Fest Film. So any of those ways. And then you can come down to the Bluer Hot Dog Cinema at uh, 506 Bluer Street West mm -hmm. and buy tickets at the door. Well, thank you so much, Michelle. Congratulations, and have a great festival. Thank you so much. Thank it was lovely. You. Thank you. Thanks. I'm Katie Allman, reporting for Katie Chats here in downtown Toronto at the Breast Fest Film Festival.